A word of caution. It looks like a bomb has gone off in my craft room. Can you relate? I don't know where to start. I haven't had the motivation, but today is the day we're going to take back our craft space so we can get back to what we love doing most, crafting. It's the start of the new year and I'm telling you, I am ready to craft, but I can't do that in this mess. So you are my motivation to get this space back in order. And I hope that I can motivate you as well. So today I am not doing a deep clean. I am just working on getting all my surfaces clean. Look, I found these wood beads here and I had bought them in the fall in the States and I love them, but I forgot all about them. Here they are sitting in a bag, collecting dust. <laughs> Anyway, so I put those away and I'm going to put those to use at one point in time. But as you can see, all I'm doing is just removing all the clutter, putting things away where they belong. This again is not a deep clean. This table here is actually where I record all my videos. I'm sitting here right now. <laughs> this is where I do all my recording for my YouTube videos and tutorials. I can't work here with this mess. You can see I even have my Cricut machine just sitting out here. That's not a smart thing to do. It's going to get dirty when you leave it out in a mess like this. So I needed to put that away too, put it back in the box. I found some other supplies that I forgot all about. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just so bad for making such a big mess and then just leaving it, just dropping everything where it was. This table becomes a catch all throughout this Christmas season. And I just really need to like, I need to cut that out. So I had bought myself a box full of Cricut supplies. I'm gonna show you those here in a minute. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little haul, but I needed to get some other stuff that was in my way here, I kept on tripping out over it. I even had some new Dollar Tree supplies that I had bought that I hadn't put away. And so those all need to get put away. And then uh, we had been working on some bead projects, left those out. Let me tell you, you don't wanna leave your beads out. It's a hazard, they will get dumped. <laughs> and, and good luck cleaning all of those out. Uh, I actually ended up having to throw some out because uh, I tell ya, why? Why do we do that to ourselves? Anyway, so here's my Cricut supplies. I bought an assortment of some different uh, printable sticker papers. I got myself some permanent vinyls, uh, some heat transfer vinyls, more permanent and transfer tape. They had an amazing sale on, so I wanted to take advantage of it. I got some markers and some gel pens as well as watercolor pens. I'm excited to try that out. And then some uh, cutaway cards that I absolutely love to use. I'm putting these all away along with a few other tools that I had out in this drawer here. I emptied it out that had other supplies. I need to replace all the labels on here yet, but in the meantime, I'm just putting everything away and I'm going to worry about all that later. So that's just outside of my craft room. Now I'm going to sort through this stack of papers that I had. There was a mishmash. I even found this little devotional that I wanted to to work on and well lo and behold I forgot about it so I'm gonna say that for next year this is the backdrop of where I take all my photos of different pictures or sorry of different projects that I work on I'd put all that away and this was just again just a hodgepodge on top of this dresser of projects that I worked on things that I didn't put away the tea the tea is left out I had done that for myself and I didn't put it away in my tea cupboard here's a little tip I am just starting to wrap my wire, my fairy light wire around a piece of cardboard for storage. I'm gonna see how this works out for me. Um, I'm hoping that then the wire won't get all tangled up on itself. So this is part of a series that I'm gonna be ho having here on my channel for the month of January. Stay tuned for some craft room fails. Yes, I've had some things that failed me as well as uh, some projects that I wanted to share here too. So stay tuned for that. This is my laser cutting machine. I haven't been able to use it because I need to vent it outside. So that's a project I've got to work on. I really want to use this laser cutting machine and I have a spot for my computer because you have to hook it up to the machine. This is the next day. I still had some stuff that I needed to put away. So I did tackle that and then I went and tackled the floor. It was such a hazard. I gathered up all these papers 
first, threw it in the recycling bin, and then went out and got rid of all these recyclables. We've got a great recycling system here in British Columbia where I live, so I take advantage of that, but I do need to sort through it all. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm just showing you the nitty gritty of me cleaning up my craft space. <laughs> So I hope this is motivating you to do that too. I'm telling you, I enjoyed actually doing this for you and um, I'm so glad I got it done. You can see the mess here. I like to use a broom to sweep up the larger debris that's on the floor. And then I'm gonna go back in with my vacuum cleaner to get all the dust and any other little bits that I may have missed. This is a fatigue mat. I like to use stand there on it. Uh, right here where, where I'm at now, it, I use that mat. So that's what's underneath me right now. Although I am sitting on a stool right now. <laughs> I like to sit on a stool once in a while, but not when I'm crafting. I like to stand, so that's why I need the fatigue mat. All right, so now I'm gonna vacuum. I'm just, again, going around, getting all the little bits that I missed. And then I'm also gonna vacuum off my carpet and any of the surfaces, my table. There, there was so much junk and debris on here. So I took the little dusting nozzle and got that all lifted up. And I also went around the rest of the room and did it. I'm not using the motorized bristle brush for the carpet here. I'm just using this part because I found that the motor ends up chewing up the rug. But oh man, it's making such a difference. So I'm just gonna put everything back in its place. It's looking so much better in here and I am so excited to share this space with you. Are you ready? Ta-da! I'm loving it. I'm so happy that I took the time to thoroughly clean everything. And now I can work in here again, use all the new tools that I have as well. If feel free to message me on Instagram if you want to share your craft spaces with me, as well as down below, leave a comment letting me know any tips and tricks that you have up your sleeve when it comes to cleaning up your craft space. I would love to know as I'm sure everyone here would else would love to know as well. So here is the before and afters of my craft space. I'm telling you it's a huge difference and I am so thrilled I got it done. I've linked a playlist for you to check out so you can get your craft rooms all organized for the crafting season. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining me and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye. <laughs>